When you see books and television and movies, they always talk about the mysteries under the Smithsonian. Okay, well now you're actually under it. There's not a, it's not a lot of mystery per se. It's a workable work area, but there is, some, there is an interesting something down here. We're right here. This is the Smithsonian Castle, and we're right here. Underneath the National Mall, as you can see, all the way across, 730 feet, there's a tunnel that goes over to the Natural History Museum, and then up. Rick walked it last week with the lights off and a flashlight. And it's, I guess you couldn't see your hand in front of your face if you turned the light off, right? That's right. Now, in the novel, Rick actually is in the tunnel with the character and act, allows access into this building from, from natural history across here. So he, he's actually in the book. I had to have someone in the book who knew a whole bunch of stuff, and I was going to make someone up. And I said, why make somebody up? Just use him. <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to see something that I think, personally, is the coolest thing in the whole building. It's his office. Rick wrote a book on the castle. It's kind of like the definitive book on the, on the Smithsonian Castle. So I, I studied that book. Look over here, he's got his shelves, the old books. I mean, it's just what you would think of when you think of a, of a Smithsonian curator. In a little cubby hole where no one can get to you. And then we're gonna show you something really neat that was discovered here about uh, 20 years ago, he just rediscovered. Yeah, I think we've always known it was there, but it was sealed off. Sealed off. And never, hasn't I'll been show used. You something pretty interesting right here. And this little staircase is in one of the tiny towers on the corner of the, the main building. This is the regent's room, is where it is. This is where the regents of the Smithsonian meet. And a lot of people don't understand how the Smithsonian is governed. It's governed by a 17 member board of regents that's headed by the Chief Justice of the United States, who is the Chancellor of the institution. The Vice President of the United States serves on the board, as do three members of the House, three members of the Senate, and nine citizen members for the, for the 17 members. And this is where they meet. History is a story. It's what it is. It's stories. And if you tell history in a story form, people get interested in it. They, they like that. They, wanna, they can get invested in it if you tell it in that way. And so in my novels, that's what I do. I take that thing from history, that thing you know very little about, that little nugget, and I try to weave a modern-day thriller around that, that nugget of history. 